Have you ever been to Amanim Valley in San Jose? It's a fantastic community surrounded by hills. It's in South San Jose, and I'm standing in front of one of my favorite parts, the Amanim Lake. Look how pretty. Uh, but stick around with me today, and I'll show you around this part of San Jose. Here's a view of the lake. It really is just a centerpiece for outdoor activity. There's miles of this walking and biking path. There's the little bridge over the creek that it goes along. And here's a map of where Almanin Valley is located in South San Jose. There's a sign as you're driving south on Almanin Expressway that welcomes you to this community. The Almanin Country Club is a private golf and tennis club, but the community around it uh, is really known for large lots, mostly single family homes, but the lots are, you know, on average 10, 12,000 square feet. Homes range pretty much from the high millions to the $2 million range. Some of the houses back onto the golf course. There are a lot of swim and racket clubs throughout Almanin Valley. And the Almanin Valley Community Center was just redone about 10 years ago. Here's an idea of some of the pricing. Overall, it gets an A. It's a really great place to live. The schools are really are known to be some of the best. But the biggest thing about Almond Valley, it's very outdoorsy. Uh, you see those views of the hills almost everywhere you are. It's a little bit more traditional housing, the 6,000 square foot type of lot. There are a lot of uh, new construction, little small pockets throughout though, which is a, definitely a plus for a lot of people. And here's one of my favorite parts, the uh, entrance to the Quicksilver hiking trail. There's no public parking, so it's always pretty busy on the street to find, find a spot, but really great trails, beautiful views. Here's some other hiking and outdoor uh, trails. Almanin Center with its Safeway Shopping Complex is one of the more popular shopping areas. It has your typical Starbucks, cleaners, banks, your sushi, we have Togo's, Baskin Robbins. There's a taco place, Ace Hardware, it's a great one. Greystone is a newer community, probably in the last 20 or so years. Uh, large homes, single or two-story, single family homes. Uh, it's right along that uh, Almanin Creek Trail, so you can walk right on that little walking path I showed at the beginning. Plus, you're set against the hill, so it's really a beautiful location. Here's a Greystone Park. There's lots of parks throughout Almanin Valley with play structures for kids. This park in particular has the music, a concert series in the summer fun once a week. They have bands come and play and everyone brings blankets. Here's some housing in that neighborhood. This is a little bit older. Here's another example of some of the newer housing. The newer lots tend to be smaller than the older lots. But beautiful homes and there's a view of some more hills. Here's another little shopping area. It's anchored by Lucky. There's a great fun milkshake place, kids love, and uh, Boulevard Coffee, which is a local coffee place. There's another one in Los Gatos. There's Pilates, learning centers for kids. There's my Noi milkshake. <laughs> Well, there you go, the end of the tour of Omnium Valley. I hope you learned something new. I hope you saw some things you liked. Such a great community. Gosh, look at the view behind me with the hills and the background. So gorgeous. So common in Omnium Valley. Anyway, again, I'm Annie Baker. I specialize in selling homes that are in trust and probate when people inherit homes and when seniors downsize or retire out of the area. So don't hesitate to reach out with any questions. And until next time, have a great one. Thank you.